Gervonta Davis's former promoter, Floyd Mayweather Jr., with a big time compliment for Shakur Stevenson. And apparently, the hate is real between the camps of Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Gervonta Davis. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, very underrated style of boxer. The quote unquote pure boxer that is going to win a boxing match by putting his hands on you and preventing you from putting your hands on him. The sweet science, hit and don't get hit. If you had to put a face on that right now, in most people's minds who are boxing fans, the name would be, or the face would be, Floyd Mayweather Jr., who, despite being quite expert at knocking people the F out, had a reputation for being a defensive wizard, much like Pernell Whitaker that came before him and uh, other uh, defensive wizards in the past. And now we have another defensive wizard. At least that's what many people say in Shakur Stevenson. And like Floyd, Later in his career, Shakur Stevenson's getting a lot of heat for the way that he fights. Floyd Mayweather Jr., after he beat John Gotti, responded to a tweet from Shakur in which Shakur said, A, basically called him the GOAT, said there's a whole lot of people hating on you, but I'm still learning from you and what you do in the ring. Obviously, I mean, at least from my point of view, I think Shakur Stevenson is telling the truth. He really believes that Gervant, that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is the greatest fighter of all time. Whole lot of people believe that erroneously. Obviously, it's it's Muhammad Ali. <laughs> if you pay attention to what matters, but hey, people have the right to make mistakes. Now, Floyd though said to Shakur, called and said, "Thanks, future or little TBE." which is little the best ever. If you've noticed, ever since Floyd Mayweather Jr. broke from, or Gervonta broke from Floyd Mayweather Jr., let me get that straight. Gervonta broke from Floyd Mayweather Jr. There has been increasing uh, appreciation expressed for Shakur Stevenson out of Floyd Mayweather Jr. So much that, that Floyd Mayweather Jr. said, hey man, I'd like to sign you. So you have these two dudes who are both very similar to one another, except for, you know, the obvious difference. One dude is has very serious knockout power, you know, throughout a range of weight classes. 130, 135. I think all safe to say all, all the way up to 140. Where I don't know if Shakur Stevenson, you know, I would say Shakur Stevenson really had it at 130. Really didn't look like he had it a lot at 126. Didn't really look particularly overly powerful at 135 so far, but still just somebody that, again, hit and cannot be hit is just for real. Now, if so the comment about Gervonta Davis shouldn't really be surprising. I mean, uh, you know, about Shakur Stevenson really shouldn't be surprising for Floyd Mayweather Jr. However, I do think that there is a little hint of um, shot at Gervonta Davis, you know, over that in that reply, because obviously people want to see or talking about Shakur Stevenson fighting Gervonta Davis and Gervonta Davis is a very heavy favorite to beat Shakur Stevenson. The last time I checked the odds and I, and there were odds that were on like box dot live, it was over plus 200 for Shakur Stevenson to win. And I think minus somewhere around minus 250 at the time that I checked 
uh, minus 254 Javante Davis. So it was like a 70, 30 odds in favor of Javante Davis over Shakur Stevenson. Um, I don't know a lot of people really that think that Javante Davis is going to lose to Shakur Stevenson. If you pay attention to the channel and listen to like some of the breakdowns that are done by very avid boxing fans on the channel, number one guy that I'm going to talk about is Phoenix the Assassin. Phoenix be killing <laughs> Shakur Stevenson and talking about uh, Shakur Stevenson's um, actually holes in the defense of Shakur Stevenson. And in essence, repeating some of the things or at least echoing some of the sentiment from Kenny Ellis talking about talking about um, Shakur Stevenson is that, you know, if Shakur Stevenson gets if he winds up being down on the cards, Shakur Stevenson doesn't have the ability to turn that fight around, make an adjustment to go get Gervonta. Where if Gervonta is down on the cards, Gervonta can do that with Shakur Stevenson. So if Shakur Steve, so if Gervonta Davis outboxes him or keeps it very, very close, and you have to consider Gervonta Davis the fa favorite, maybe because he was landing some of the bigger shots in the earlier rounds, there's no other gear for Shakur Stevenson to go after for Gervonta. So pretty much they're just saying, look, man, if we make this an all out speed race, and we can really force Javon, uh, Shakur into having to fight that there's only one guy that is going to come out the winner uh, that is going to come out the winner in that fight. And it's Gervonta and it's Gervonta Davis. Shuk I do not doubt that Floyd Mayweather Jr. may suspect the same thing, because if you haven't seen it, Floyd was in the ring with Gervonta Davis many, many times. And one of the biggest, you know, the funniest ones was when Ger when Gervonta Davis beat up on Devin Haney in their sparring session, yeah, you better believe I'm going to remind some of y'all of that, <laughs> right? Where the rumors were that you know Gervon that Devin really got off on Gervonta Davis and Devin really you know ran the show, but then to see the pummeling that Devin Haney took place that you know that Devin Haney had to submit to with a um. Let's say not peak shape Gervonta Davis coming off of a plane uh, and according to Adrian Bronner having a few drinks and still doing that to Devin. Floyd Mayweather Jr. knows what he's dealing with. Also, and I'm going to probably look into this a little bit more deeply. I heard a statement from uh, Kenny Ellis where Kenny Ellis had referred to Something going on with Floyd Mayweather Jr. when Mario Barrios and Gervonta Davis fought and Floyd Mayweather Jr. having told Gervonta Davis that he was down on the cards, even though Gervonta Davis was up significantly on the cards uh, against Mario Barrios and uh, and why Gervonta Davis, why Floyd May Mayweather Jr. would do that. And he linked the reason, even though he didn't give the reason, to the fact that Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather Jr. no longer uh, get along. Um, but anyway, man, it's just all real interesting stuff. I'm, I would love to know what what Floyd Mayweather Jr. really thinks about the uh, really thinks about the fight um, and who he would really pick in the to win in the fight. I think that more than likely, though, it's Gervonta Davis. That's my take, and he's probably just hating a little bit and saying thank you to Shakur Stevenson for complimenting uh, Floyd. And I ain't gonna lie, dude, Floyd can fight, even though I was not interested in that particular fight with John Gotti at all. Dude can really fight. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.